Pentecost. 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 We release in our atmosphere. We want to touch your heart, but we want to be also fountains, the fountains of life, of life, of life, of life, of life, of life. We want to be able to prophesy I want to prophesy over Jenny would you just stay tracked with me can I prophesy over you I'm waiting for your husband yes husband come on husband And the Lord 
showed me so clearly. He showed me so plainly. Not only are you going to walk in the breakthrough deliverance mantle, you've already got that. That's already there. But the Lord showed me something like unto a Catherine Coleman mantle coming upon your life. And the Lord says, daughter, I will use your voice. I will use your song, not only to bring forth songs of deliverance, but to bring healing to the nations. Healing to the nations, says the Lord. The Lord says, I have marked you and I will send you and do not be afraid of their faces or the naysayers or even the ones who don't understand the peculiar anointing that I've put upon you, says the Lord. For I will open doors that no man can shut in the nations. And the Lord says, I will send you even to dark nations with the word that breaks open spiritual atmospheres so that souls may be saved. And the Lord says, many millions of souls will be coming into the kingdom through your ministry for it's not just singing it's not just prophesying it's not just healing it's not just deliverance but the Lord says I put a hunger in your heart for souls 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 so I plead the blood of Jesus over you my friend I plead the blood of Jesus over you and I say your enemies are my enemies and your enemies are my enemies and we stand together united one heart one spirit in jesus name i thank you lord that you protect her that you keep her that you amplify her voice in the nations and that you cause even her enemies to be at peace with her in jesus name somebody shout amen the Lord says, I'm putting a new song in you and a new sound will come through your mouth. For the Lord says, many have been the days where you sung for another God, but the Lord says, you will sing from my heart to peoples in cities and those who have been rejected and neglected. The Lord says, even your persona, your look, your fashion, your style, your voice, everything about you will draw those unto the Lord who need him more than they know. And the Lord says, I'm about to birth an album through you that is literally gonna shake your generation because the Lord says this is a new sound it's a new song it's a new way and the Lord says don't listen to all these people want to tell you well who do you think you are I know where you came from the Lord says I know where you came from and the Lord says I know where I'm taking you and the Lord says it's good it's good it's good it's good so lift your hands up like this in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord for the fire of God everybody point your hands this way come on for the fire of God the fire of God, the fire of God, to fall upon him in Jesus' name. Hey, ho, shakatero kotor, nabababababashi. Woo, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah, come on, who's happy? Who's happy? Shabba, make room for Nathan. When Paul first got saved, everything was peachy keen, man. After they lowered him down in the basket, he started walking in signs and wonders and miracles. He was a baby Christian. What? I said Paul was a baby Christian. We want to act today like people can't get saved and work a miracle the next breath. They can because there ain't no junior Holy Ghost. Amen. Paul was doing all these miracles. You know what the first miracle Paul did was? He met with a sorcerer named Elimus. Ooh. Are any sorcerers here today? <laughs> he struck the sorcerer blind. Look at this, Acts 13, verse 9. Then Saul, who is called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit. Filled with who? Holy filled with who? Holy Come on, filled with who? That's better. Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked intently at him, the sorcerer, and said, Oh, full of all deceit and all fraud, you son of the devil, Jesus, you enemy of all unrighteousness, will you not cease perverting the straight ways of the Lord? And now, indeed, the hand of the Lord is up on you, and you shall be blind, not seeing for a time. 
But I decree in Jesus' name that every monitoring spirit that has been assigned against your life to report back to demonic networks and tell what you are doing to thwart your blessing, to thwart your breakthrough, to thwart your increase, I'd say they are bound, they are blinded, they are deafened, they are mute in the name of Jesus. No longer will these peeping Tom spirits spy out your liberty. But you will discern them and you will bind them. And I decree in Jesus' name, they will flee seven ways, woman of God. They're going to flee seven ways. This was Paul's first miracle. Kind of us. It was cold and rainy, so they built a fire on the shore to welcome us. As Paul gathered an arm full of sticks and was laying them on the fire, a poisonous snake driven out by the heat bit him on the hand. You know you're getting close to revival fire when the snakes start coming out against you. When the accuser of the brethren begins to speak against you. You know that you are walking in something new when all hell breaks loose against you. You've got to be a people who do what Paul did. What did they do? They said, he's going to die. They began to accuse him. They said, he's a murderer. He didn't escape the justice of the sea. He, he's, he, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, and you know what happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? He shook it off. He shook off the snake. Listen, people want to say this and that about me all the time. You think I care? They want to go on YouTube. Who do you think you are? I know who I am. Who are you? Praise God. Well, you can't preach. You can't cast out devils. You can't speak in tongues. You can't have, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. Please, you know what I do? Shake it off. Amen. Just shake it off. Because when people curse me or people abuse me or people accuse me or whatever they want to do, if I can choose to walk in humility, if I, that's how you shake it off, by the way. Hello? We can do this all day and don't change nothing. You, you move in the opposite spirit. You choose to walk in humility. Amen? Amen. <laughs> And you shake it off. That's what Paul did. He shook off the snake. And you know what he did? Then he went around healing everybody on the whole island. That was the breakthrough the enemy was trying to stop. And what did I begin to say before? It's not really about you. It's about the anointing that God wants to work through you. So revival fire is coming. And God is about to burn away everything hindering love. God's about to deal with those jacked up mindsets that we have. God's about to deal with some of your pornography and Addictions. Hey! God's about to deal with some of your biases. Oh, y'all don't like that. Do you like when I prophesied increase in blessing? Who wants the anointing? 